Cole Lind looked like he was about to cry in his interview on TSN after they started interviewing the first round of cuts for Team Canada at the World Juniors. And Cole Lind was one of those players who was cut immediately, right off the gate, in the first round of cuts... And if you want to realize who was cut in this first set of Team Canada cuts, we got ourselves Cody Glass, Cole Lind, Jonathan Ang, Logan Stanley, Dennis Chalowski, and Samuel Harvey. So, these guys, I don't think anyone was really expecting Chalowski to make the team, nor was Samuel Harvey having that good of an expectation to make the team, in my opinion, but... Glass, Lind, Ang, and Stanley? I'm surprised that they were cut in the first round. Logan Stanley is a big defenseman who was drafted to be that guy. Cody Glass was sixth overall. Cole Lind is arguably as good as Cody Glass. Jonathan Ang, I guess it's a little bit more understandable for him as he was a third round pick or whatever and he's not necessarily thought of to be the absolute best Canadian forward, but... Glass and Lind were the big two in this group, and for the most part, Cody Glass looked perfectly fine with it. He was like, yeah, okay, Sam Steele won the CHL Player of the Year award after getting cut, so it's okay, I'll just work on it. But Cole Lind looked so disappointed, and he looked like he was going to cry, and all Canucks fans watching that interview all just shed a tear because we were all saying to him, yeah, you deserve the shot, Cole. He deserved the shot, he had mono, he came back, he came back with no more mono. So, the Cole Lynn that we have been watching dominate the WHL at to, up to this point, it was the Cole Lynn who had mono. And now he doesn't have mono, but he's still quote-unquote recovering or whatever. So, this is a Cole Lind who is sort of not necessarily the best Cole Lind we could have ever had, and... Team Canada cuts him alongside a Cody Glass, and he's disappointed. Well, that was earlier this morning, and guess what happens when you cut Cole Lind from Team Canada? Cole Lind, in his first game back, he gets himself a hat trick for the Kelowna Rockets. And this is nice to see. I mean, Cole Lind, he's back. He's back on the Kelowna Rockets on a weaker Rockets team. He's on a weaker Rockets team now because Dubé and Foote, these guys were placed onto the Canadian roster at the World Juniors. So they're missing Dubé and Foote, their number one defenseman, as well as arguably their second, maybe even top forward. So Cole Lind and his crew are missing two important players. Cole Lind still, he gets a hat trick. And wow. 7-2 win over Prince Albert, and Cole Lind, he's got himself a hat trick. And this is kind of a bummer, sort of, because this was Lind's last year of eligibility to be on the World Juniors team, which means that next year he'll be too old to represent Canada at the World Juniors, so this was his only real chance at making that team, and he was cut in the first selection of cuts, which... You could say it was a mistake, you can say whatever you want, you can say, oh, this is making the best Canadian team ever, or you can say this is a horrible decision, compiled with cutting Cody Glass as well. You can say whatever you want, but you can't say that Cole Lind isn't disappointed about this. And you could tell, just in this game, he had a fire lit under him, right from puck drop. He gets himself three goals, and he's right back in it. He's right back into the swing of things in the WHL, and he's showing to all of us why it is not a good idea to not take Cole Lind. Because, as Jim Benning said in the draft, why isn't anyone taking Cole Lind? He said that because Cole Lind is genuinely a very good hockey player. And us Canucks fans, we don't need him to make some Canadian team or whatever in order for us to know that. We know that he should have probably been given a chance to play on that team. And we know that he probably had the skill in order to play on that team. And we know that he would have done well if he played on that team. Same thing could be said about Cody Glass. But now that he's away, 
All he's got to do now is focus on his game, build up the Rockets, and see how Kelowna can win a few more games without Dubé and Foot. Because, well... They're going to lose a few games, of course, that's always going to happen, especially when your top players leave the team, but they still got Cole Lind, and it's not even that Cole Lind is the only good player they have, I mean, they have other good players too, Twarinski and Topping, these guys are also good players for the Rockets, and Cole Lind's got to build with what he's got, and all of us Canucks fans, we know that he should have been given a shot. It sucks that he was cut. It sucks that Canada is arguably making one of the most questionable teams in history because of all these cuts that they're doing and all these players that they're getting rid of. I mean, looking at Bob McKenzie's Twitter, they cut themselves Mario Ferraro. Okay, maybe that was sort of expected. They cut Nick Suzuki, which... What the hell was that? Why would they do that? Because Gadjevic made the team and Gadjevic was Suzuki's left winger. So, like, you automatically have a connection there. You got chemistry with Gadjevich and Suzuki. So, what? They also got themselves Michael DiPietro, who was released. And there are some circumstances where if one of the two goalies that did make the team gets injured, DiPietro could be called up to play backup. But, for now, he's off the team. So, overall, I mean, Vancouver, we got ourselves one prospect on Team Canada, and... The other three are most likely locks. I'm pretty sure William Lockwood is also a lock for Team USA, which, that's really good, honestly. William Lockwood is coming out of nowhere, but Cole Lind, he gets himself a hat trick. I'm looking forward to seeing what this guy is going to do with the rest of his season this year, and just how good he's going to be by the end. I don't know if he's going to be able to beat Cody Glass in points and whatever, because Colin still did miss all those games with the mono, but who knows? I mean, Cody Glass is technically still playing in the WHL too. I mean, he didn't make Team Canada either, so he's still got a lot of points to grab for himself, but we'll see. We'll see. The best thing we can do right now is to just wish Cole Lind the best and know that in our hearts he would have made a significant impact on Team Canada had he been selected. But for now, we're just going to have to watch him tear it up with a Kelowna Rockets team that doesn't have Dubé or Foot. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to Gaming, and bye. <laughs>